Welcome to The Nail Engineer and today I'm doing a custom uh, movie inspired manicure and it's Pulp Fiction. Um, now this is quite a complex one um, and I really did it because I love the film. I had a bit of nail inspiration. I thought it would be like a fun idea and I decided one day to have a little play and came up with this pop here and you would not believe well, you will believe after watching this how much work goes into this one nail, but for me, totally worth it. Sadly though, it does mean that you need a shitload of stuff. So, on the colours, on my thumbs, I've got this uh, CND Shellac Bicycle Yellow, which I'm only using because it's the only bright yellow that I've got and I don't use bright yellow very much. Um, it's one of the first polishes that I bought for Easter stuff. Um, but I really, after using it on this money, I really want to chuck it in the bin now because I hate it. It's just crap. It smells horrible, it wrinkles, it's gloopy, it's nasty, it's blech. So I'm going to be replacing this with Madame Glam Halo probably. Um, on my pointer and pinky, I have got Madame Glam in a more. And on my middle finger, I've got Perfect White. And then on my ring finger, Perfect Black, also by Madame Glam. I didn't actually use Madame Glam base coat because I've got like a builder gel underneath this onto which you can directly uh, color. Um, but if I was going on the natural nail, I would use Madame Glam's base coat and top coat. Um, one other thing that I nearly forgot because it's in my boobs, keeps it warm so keeps it flowing and this is the gel bottle ink rubber top coat from their builder in a bottle range and it's really 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 good for encapsulating and promoting wear and since i've got decals on here and we'll get to that in a minute um, you really want to encapsulate that and keep it all secure so for the stampings I've kept with the kind of Pulp Fiction classic colour scheme of yellow, black, white, red. I've got Esmeralda de Kelly mostly, um, Pinguino black, Dolly white, Joanna red, B which is yellow. It doesn't look like it in there but trust me when you open it up it's much more yellow as you can see there. I've got Doggito and finally um, B loves the manufacturer of the plates. Uh, color alike stamping polish in be a juicy tangerine now in looking at the manicure you may think to yourself well wh where is this doggito and the um, dolly polishes but I actually use those with these decals obviously they're transparent and I've made these myself just printed them on my printer and you can buy the paper from eBay etc um, and because they're transparent whatever color you put them over um, it's going to take on the colour. So for example on Yuma Thurman and unfortunately she's she's developed a frown overnight possibly because I didn't put um, Builder in a Bottle on her lesson learned um, but yes on Uma's face I've used Doggito and I've painted the underside of the decal um, just to make sure that you can see the features through there so she doesn't have a big red face. I've used the white on her shirt and on the fonds, I've used the white here to stop him having nasty yellow teeth. Um, he does look quite orange of face, but that's nah, acceptable. I will also be using the same on this one here. I'll be using the white on this one here and this one here. Um, and you'll see what those designs are as we go along. So on to the plates and oh my gosh. There are so many and the reason why is because I've got words on here. Don't be a uh, and then square except it's a rectangle shape because that's what she does in the movie. And English Mother Hubbard, not quite how it's spelt but you get what I mean. Do you speak it? This is a tasty burger. And the reason why there's so many plates is because I've taken at first my inspiration from this punk plate and when I first came up with 
this I love you honey bunny design which is going to be on my sweary hand sweary finger on my other hand and all of these letters come from here and you can see there there's the I and L O there's a few V's in there E and so on and so forth so yes every single one of these letters is individually stamped on so if you've got a fairly good collection of plates like I have, um, what it's good to do is try and find instances for the words that you want to put on where more than one letter appears together because then that will cut down your stamping time. For example, on this nail with my mother Hubbard, I took the mother from there, the F from fairy tale, just down at the bottom there. I got the U and the K together from punk. I picked up the three letters and got rid of the N and stamped those two on together and then got the C there and stamped that in the middle of the two. And then I got the ER at the end from mother nature again. So um, I'll just run through the plates. I'll not get too kind of like hung up. I'm sure you can figure out how to lift the letters off yourself. Um, but yes, these are the plates that I have used and will be using for this entire money. So I've got Mother Nature and you could use any plate because it's the name of the range that we want. Same goes for Fairy Tale. I've used Punk number 10 and specifically I want that for these letters here. We have got tourist and you could have any tourist because again, it's just for the, the stamp of the collection name underneath. Um, specifically Princess 13 for this splatter image, which is my uh, blood splatters. We've got rebel and again, it could be any rebel. I'm just using the letters from it. Same with enchanted, just using the letters from the bottom. Um, origami specifically six I haven't seen enough of the rest of the range to know if you could get this dotted line off of one of their other plates I don't know if you can see it there let me uh, zoom right in oh it doesn't want to zoom I think oh there there you can see it in the reflection now so this line here I used to make my square rectangle whichever and I also used some of the letters we've got a cookbook and specifically for me number six for this image and I also used some of the letters and then finally we've got uber chic zombie love plate which I am using this kind of gas mask image for my gimp um, which is going to be on this hand and I've used the s off of here on my uh, words um, and I've also used this trio of two guns and a knife on my pinky which I've done twice completely those three images and then filled in with a couple more knives you can see that so yeah it's a lot of stuff um, and I did this for fun so um, I don't think that a lot of people <laughs> could be asked to redo this at home, but hey, if you do, good on you. So let's do the Fonzie Day cow and get it ready to put on the nail. And I'm just going to use this end of my orange stick because it's nice and thin. Um, but I find it preferable to working with like a metal dotting tool. Um, just something about the wooden texture makes it a bit easy and I'm just going to show you on one and then do the rest off screen. You want to try and see I've kind of messed it up there. He's got like massive teeth now <laughs> um, but don't worry because when it has dried you will be able to just lightly scrape off and just while Fonzie is drying um, I'm going to be using these decals on another nail and I am going to put the white on the face of the watch there because obviously that's going to go on a red nail and it's going to go transparent and you just might not be able to see the watch hands very well 
and similarly on this ass, donkey, whatever, um, I'm just going to actually paint the white all over just to make its colour pop and stop it from looking too kind of like gingery. Okay, so Fonzie should be nice and dry by now and I'll just show you what I was meaning about being able to scrape off any excess white once it's dry and you can just do that very easily with an orange stick just like that. Just be gentle, don't push like super hard because obviously you've um, you've got your printed decal which I actually coat with aerosol kind of clear lacquer spray paint um, and I do like three really thin coats just to make sure it all seals in because of course when you get your water on it you don't want your ink to, to just run. Um, so yeah it has got a protective coating on but it's still quite a thin coating so just be gentle and take your time with this. Okay I'll just finish cleaning this up and then we'll come back for the uh, application. So this is where my decal hack comes in and quite often you will see people dropping their decal into their water and waiting until the backing paper separates from the image on the front but I am not going to do that because I find that it's too risky with like kind of tearing and it's difficult to handle and you get more wrinkles and such like so what I do is I just place it on my nail and just hold it until I'm fairly sure that it's there or thereabouts and these are just top coated and wiped um, with three coats of colour underneath. Now if I hadn't been making a video probably what I would have done would be to just leave it on the tacky inhibition layer um, but obviously this is TV, this is show business. So I've got that positioned on the nail and I just fully load my brush with water and then just push down. Just push down and let it soak through and just be patient just let it sit there for a while until when you move it starts to push the backing paper away and you can reload at this point and you just kind of pushing and dragging a little bit and there it is see that just be real careful at this stage and I think this should come off nicely there we go now you will be able to like reposition it and stuff a little bit but you want to faff with the decal as little as possible there so I've got my three Fonzies right about where I want them and you can see that he's got nice white teeth instead of yellow yay and you can see that I've managed to clean off a lot of the excess now this is the important part and this is why I have a makeup sponge because this makeup sponge is really good for just gently pushing down on the decal and both pushing out any air bubbles as well as lifting out any excess moisture because you don't want any water there when you put your top coat on and you don't want any wrinkles and aside from the fact that wrinkles on a decal spoil the look it will also cause it to lift and bubble underneath your top coat and for my top coat I am using like a, a builder gel and I would definitely recommend it if you have this. <laughs> <laughs>